Hi, I'm uh, Chris Polinuk. I'm with the biology department at St. Catherine University. And I'm here at the State Fair and I'm in front of the hay bale gardens. Um, the reason I stand in front of the hay bale gardens at the State Fair is because I'm really interested in pollinators and growing food. I'm really passionate about that. Um, it turns out that students at St. Catherine University are also really passionate about that. And members of our bio club and our food justice coalition have been really pivotal in bringing honeybees, um, community gardens, and most recently a uh, pollinator commons to our campus. So celebrating pollinators in lots and lots of ways. The relationship between food and pollination, um, our students have um, done a really great thing where they've started a food shelf. Um, on campus and so what they've done is they've linked our community gardens and the community gardens at the Sisters of St. Joseph with students in need that are food insecure. I think it's really easy for people to sort of personally participate in protecting pollinators. I think if you take a little bit of your turf and turn it into sort of wildflowers you'll see bees really enjoy that. Um, if you want to take it a step further, grow fruit or vegetables like the garden behind me, and you'll see pollinators, bees, butterflies, really delight in what you've planted and you can watch them at work. Um, there's nothing I like better than watching a, a bee at a squash blossom, working away and then later holding a squash in my hand. It's still an amazing relationship that pollinators have with our food. Um, and one that I think St. Kate's is doing a really, really good job at. So um, when you're at the State Fair, look for things about pollinators. And when you're at St. Kate's, look for the projects our students are involved in.